Hello guys, Total Eclipse here with another satisfactory guide and today we're returning to the Efficiency Build Guide series. After all, Update 3 has brought a few rather big changes to say the least. So if you're pleased to see a return to this series, please do drop a thumbs up and note it is a playlist. So to save you from struggling to find other guides in the series, be sure to jump over to that playlist. And obviously, if you like the videos and haven't already, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and drop a click on that bell so you don't miss any more satisfactory videos. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Now with it being the first episode, we're going to go ahead and start building the necessary manufacturing process to build 15 reinforced frames per minute, which is a total of three assemblers at 100% base clock speed. Now do note that this series does require you to have reached the point in the game where you have unlocked both part assembly and logistics mark 2 in tier 2 and logistics in tier 1 as well as underclocking in the MAM. Although do note as the series develops you will require more unlocks. Now at this point it is important to note that we will be using the overflow manifold system as it's just as efficient as the load balancing system once it's up and running and will be much easier for us to upgrade should you need the extra reinforced plates later on in the game which no doubt you will. So let's get into the maths. Now in order to create 15 reinforced plates per minute, we will need to run 3 assemblers at 100% clock speed. So if we times the recipe by 3, we will see that we require a total of 90 iron plates per minute and 180 screws per minute. Now next we need to look at how many iron plates a constructor produces per minute, which is 20. So with overclocking to one side, we can see that we will need at least 5 constructors However, this will leave us with a surplus of 10 iron plates, which could be useful for factory building, but for the purpose of this build, we will try to create exactly 90 iron plates per minute. So instead we shall divide 90 by 5, which gives us 18, and adjusting the underclock here, we can see that at 90% clock speed, we can create the required 18 plates per minute. Perfect. Now knowing that we need 5 constructors for iron plates, we can also see that we will need 145 iron ingots for this line, and 145 iron ore. Then, looking at screws, we can divide the 180 needed by the 40 screws per recipe, by the 40 screws recipe, and this also shows we will need a minimum of, of 5 constructors and give us a surplus of 20. So doing the math of 180 divided by 5, we have 36. Now this, however, will make transporting the screws difficult at the end, so it would be much more ideal for us to have a total of 6 constructors working at 75% clock speed. This will give us 30 screws per minute per constructor and make an easy merge at the end along a Mark 1 line. Next, we need to create iron rods. Now we know that we need 160 screws per minute, which is 45 rods per minute, which requires three constructors running at 100% clock speed, 45 iron ingots and 45 iron ore. Now from here we know that we need a total of 190 iron ore turned into ingots, which is a total of 7 smelters, as we will need 2 separate smelters for rods and plates. Now with that out of the way, let's get started and do note that we will be doing this on a 10x10 10 10 grid, so let's get started. First off, once you know where your iron is coming from, we will need to set 7 smelters running adjacent to this line. Now, notice that firstly, I'm placing the smelters in the middle of each foundation block rather than next to each other. This is really important for later on. 
And secondly, if you're running Mark 1 conveyors, that this will mean that we need four lines of conveyors in total. The first three will be split between two smelters and then the last line will have its own single smelter. Now don't worry if it gets fully saturated. Um, this is something we don't really need to worry about. And from here we will designate the last five smelters specifically for iron plates and directly after them we will be placing constructors. Now after the constructors we will merge all the exit points together using elevators and mergers. Now note with the mergers you will need at least two spaces after the constructor in order to place the merger and then we will stack this up three high in order to connect an elevator to them. And do note the elevator needs to be connected from the constructor to the merger, otherwise it won't work. We will then connect these up using the Mark II conveyors that we unlocked with the logistics Mark II. And these will all flow towards the fourth foundation from the right. Then the first two smelters will be running at 75% and merge together for the iron rods. Now this line will be run above the iron plates line and then we shall place three constructors at the end to the left of this line. Note again the two spaces apart from the splitters for the elevators to be able to connect to the constructors. Now these constructors will then be manufacturing rods and then using the same style bus as the plates run the rods back to the foundation four blocks from the right. Now these will then run along and split off to the six constructors which are in line with the rods constructors to create screws. Then each screw constructor will merge with one other and feed directly into an assembler. But note that the assembler will need to be placed two spaces away in order for the iron plates bus line, which we will now run above the screws, in order for them to be able to decant using the elevators into the assemblers. Now from here we shall merge the assemblers together and then the finished product 
our 15 reinforced iron plates per minute will be brought to a storage unit to be used in the next episode, which is modular frames. So there you are guys, a compact, easy build for you to run reinforced frames at 100% clock speed. Now if you did find the video helpful, be sure to drop a thumbs up and if you want to see more guides like this and let's plays from me then be sure to hit that subscribe button anyway guys until next time thank you so much for watching and as always ciao for now